Welcome to Indigo's first tutorial. Um, this is going to be a tutorial on making a tire, and I'm going to be making it in Moto 601. And the first thing we got to do is we're going to go to Add Item, and we're going to add a backdrop item. This is our backdrop item, and we're going to go to the backdrop properties here, and we're going to load an image. Uh, I have the image here, but if uh, you go to Load Image here, and you go to your file and you click Open. And now our tire image is loaded here. And you might want to make it a little bit transparent, maybe about 50%. And that'll be fine. So you can hit Control and Space Bar. And let's go to Front. <clears throat> and we'll go to Mesh here. And the first thing we need to do is just kind of block out the shape. Uh, turn off snapping here. You can turn off snapping just to block out the shape. So I'm going to start clicking here. And let's click here and here. Uh, it'll come with like a, a polygon kind of shape here. So if you'll hit 7, you can hit 4 and 7 on your numeric keypad. And you can change it from wireframe. Change it back to wireframe so you can see a little bit easier. And also when you're clicking these things, try to keep in mind, you know, where you're clicking it, the shape of it, so you can make clean polygons later. It's just, it takes a little bit of practice, but after a while you're like, oh, no problem. So, we got that shape blocked out. Select the pen tool again. Here's another shape here. Click here and here. And you can hit 3 to select your polygon mode. And uh, select this and control C, control V. And you can hit W to move and just move that over so you got yourself another piece there. Uh, let's block out this piece. And same thing, that's kind of the same shape. So control C, control V, hit W to move, move that down. And uh, I'm going to grab this polygon, this polygon. So I'm going to grab this polygon and this polygon. And just kind of move that a little bit, tweak it a little bit. I'm going to right click, grab these polygons hit R for the transform and I'm going to flatten these up. You can flatten them up using this or since it's on X, see the red here? You're on the X, see you're on red. You can just take this and type in zero and hit enter. And that'll flatten it up real nice. You can do the same thing here. Grab these, hit, um, hit one for vertices. So you can hit one for vertices, two for edges, three for polygons. Hit one for vertices select these, hit R, and just, you know, zero these out. Make them nice and flat. So, let's block this out. And zoom in a little bit, like this. And see, I'm, I'm lining these up to where I'm thinking this will make a polygon, this will make a polygon. Do the same thing. Select these. Hit R. Kind of flatten them out. Just clean it up a little bit. That looks good. And flatten this out. That looks good. And hit 3 for polygon. Control C, Control V. Bring that down right here, and it's starting to look good. Um, this shape over here, it looks like we can just copy this. Control C, Control V, and move that over. Actually, let's cut that. Let's let's mirror it. So I'm going to grab this and hit Control V. There we go. Grab 
this and duplicate mirror, which is Shift V. So let's grab this right here. You go to your duplicate. Um, Shift V is to mirror. So I'm going to mirror this over. <clears throat> And you can move this. If you grab this right here, you can move it. And it looks like I need to reverse this. So I'm going to select this, hit R, and then reverse this. Uh, make it a negative 100 on the Y. Hit W to move. Move that up. So now we got that. Looks like we have one more type of piece here to block out. If you look, there's a, a piece right here that has two sections on it. So let's go back to basic. Let's block this out. And block this and this. Are you talking about I'm not. I'm making a video tutorial for my new site. Indigo. It's going to be awesome. I'm, I'm making a tire tutorial. And then I'm going to make other tutorials. I'm talking to everyone about my tire tutorial. And uh, apparently, <laughs> you're going to be in it now. Yeah, you're part of the. You're going to. Everyone's going to be listening to you asking me, what are you doing? That's my sweetheart wife. She just said she loves me. Now, if you notice when I'm placing these, just keep in mind the geometry. So now we got this piece. These pieces here look like they could all be copied. So I'm going to copy these and bring it down. And these pieces here be copied and brought down to here. And this is a little bit, I'm going to move this down. So basically we're just blocking out this tire. Making it just the basic shapes. So I'm going to copy this. Bring this down. And control C, control V. Oh. Alright. Need to copy more of these into here. And bring this here. Um, you know, it's about the basic here. I need to move this one. I don't like the way these are looking. I'm going to just block these out. This here, 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 here. And let's do one more. Add the pin tool. So now we got a basic block here of what we're doing. Now what we need to do is we need to connect all these things. So what I do is I use the bridge tool and uh, I use I connect the edges. And if you go to the edge, go to the edge and you'll see there's a bridge tool and there's a there's a hotkey control B. Uh, and then you select the two edges, Control B, 
and then click up here. Two edges, control B, click up here. And if, if you don't know how to do a hotkey, just come over here to your command right here. And if you lift this command up, just stretch it up, you'll see the last uh, commands that I did. So watch this. I'll come over here. I'm going to select this edge and this edge and hit control B and hit bridge. And it'll say bridge here. So come over to your bridge and right click on it. And then you can map it to a hotkey. So just going to map the hotkey and you can type in whatever you want. I've typed in control B just because, you know, control B is for bridge. <clears throat> and then hit OK. And this will kind of speed up your workflow, workflow a little bit. So hit this edge, this edge, control B, and uh, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, control B. And uh, you can click this and this, this. Oh, let's connect these. One, two, one, two, control B. There we go, very nice. This, this, and you can hit the... Uh, Hit this, this, not this one. The control to deselect. If you if you select something, you select something that you don't want. Just hit control, and then um, left mouse click on it, and it'll go away. So let's select that one. Select that one. Select this one. This one. This one. This one. Control B. There you go. This one and this one, control B. This one and this one, control B. This one and this one, control B. Oops. Let's see, I select the other one there. This one and this one, control B. This one and this one, control B. This one, this one. Oh, let's connect these, control B. This one. You know, you can also right click all these like this. Control B. Bridge tool is pretty awesome. And we go like this. Oh. Set this one, this one, this one. Control B. And this one. Control B. So you can see that we're, we're, we're blocking this out. Um. So I'm going to connect all these up and then I'm going to come back and I'll show you how to tile this thing.